If your laboratory does a lot of pipetting, you already know some liquids just don't want to behave when you try to pipette them. If this has ever happened to you, stay tuned for the next few minutes as we introduce a neat little product which will put that smile right back on your dial. Hi, I'm Andre from the John Morris Group and if you don't want to miss any of our new content, click the little bell button right next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as we upload new content. Today, we're looking at pipetting problem liquids. That is, liquids which commonly seem to cause troubles when you try to pipette them accurately. They either appear to fall out of your pipette, or they won't suck up correctly, or they even just give you erratic results. Broadly speaking, there are two styles of microvolume pipettes. That is, air displacement and positive displacement. Now, air displacement pipettes, such as the Gilson pipettement, are highly accurate for most aqueous liquid pipetting applications. However, air displacement pipettes won't work reliably if the liquid you're pipetting is viscous, like for instance glycerol, or tween, volatile, such as solvents, or if the temperature is hot or cold. Additionally, air displacement pipettes may not be the correct solution where there's a risk of cross-contamination with biological samples such as blood, bacteria, or viruses, or carryover of hazardous radioactive liquids is present. In these situations, positive displacement pipettes, such as the Microman, are ideal, and today we're going to demonstrate this so you can feel more confident in your pipette selection. But first, a little theory. Air displacement pipettes, such as this Gilson, are based on a simple concept. When the push button is pressed on the pipette, the piston integrated in the lower part of the pipette moves the liquid under the action of an air cushion called dead volume, and it moves it between the pipette and the liquid sample. The volume of air displaced is equivalent to the volume of liquid aspirated. Now that's on the basis that your liquid has a density similar to water and the temperature is similar to room temperature. This differs entirely from the way a positive displacement pipette works. With a positive displacement pipette, the piston is part of the specialized disposable tip called a capillary piston, or CP for short. And this is in direct contact with the liquid you're preparing. This configuration eliminates the air cushion between the liquid and the piston, so volume accuracy is not affected by the fluid's properties, or how that fluid interacts with the surrounding environment. As an added benefit, the disposable capillary pistons also prevent contamination since it makes direct contact with the sample, ensuring the user and the pipette are protected. That is, no aerosols can enter into the pipette, potentially cross-contaminating samples or potentially damaging the internal components of your pipette. And now that you're armed with this knowledge of the differences between these two types of pipettes, we wanted to show you some examples in real life. So what I've done here is we've got a, a range of common household available things that you can get in any local supermarket. Um, I've got some toothpaste, I've got some mustard, I've got some uh, liquid detergent um, and some more and some shampoo. And I've also got uh, here some methylated spirits. Now, these are different liquids, all with very different challenges. Um, viscous liquids are incredibly hard to suck up with a normal pipette. And so what you find some people try to do to pipette them accurately uh, is they'll cut the end off their tip. Uh, but invariably, that's not a great solution. It's very rare that you get an accurate or repeatable dispensing. Um, here, you've got uh, two forms of a soap. And so what tends to happen here is um, they tend to kind of foam. Firstly, they're viscous to start with. So again, an air displacement pipette is not ideal, but when you bring them up, they'll slightly foam. And, and that expansion will mean that they're less likely to actually stay in the pipette and they're more likely to come out the other side. And here we have a solvent. Um, now the solvent's actually evaporating in room temperature. Almost half of it's actually gone. And as soon as I suck this up into pipette, there's going to be two things that are actually going to happen here. Firstly, the vapors of this solvent are going to go into the body of the pipette if I'm using an air displacement pipette. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to start possibly rusting or corroding the internal surfaces of the pipette, which is a bad thing. But secondly, it's also going to replace the vacuum that's being created in an air displacement pipette. And that means it's going to drop out the bottom of the actual tip. We're not gonna have any problems whatsoever to suck up all of these different liquids or gels with a positive displacement pipette, and you're gonna see that. So this is the Gilson Microman, and it comes with two pieces, the actual pipette itself and the tip. And in the tip, you can see this white piece on the inside of it, that's actually 
the tip within or the piston within the actual tip itself. And the liquid's gonna make a direct contact with that piston. So there's gonna be no air gap or no major air gap to allow things to expand or contract or to get past this barrier and into the body of the pipette itself. So on the new version, it's very easy to load. Click and it's in. So let's try this. Let's go for some toothpaste. So there you have it. You can see that the gel, or the liquid in this case, or the gel really, you can see the gel is actually touching the, the, the tip in the inside here. So there's no gap. Now the neat thing about these tips is because they're supposed to be able to deal with biologicals, to get rid of them, if you just click down, they come straight off. So you could literally fire them directly into a bin. Let's try that soap that we found so hard before. Try that methylated spirits. Now, you can see here with this methylated spirits that there's no way it can evaporate beyond this point. It can't go up into the body of the pipette. You can see there's no droplet of water forming at the bottom because there's no expansion of the air and it's a very robust solution. So there you have it, physical proof that positive displacement pipettes are a critical tool in your pipetting toolkit, especially for non-aqueous or troubled liquids and gels. Now, if you'd like more information about the Gilson solutions that we provide, or indeed the Microman, you can find a link to the product details below. Or if you have a question about this or any other product from the John Morris range, please leave a comment or a question and our team will get right back to you. If you like the content we produce, don't be shy to show some love and give us a thumbs up. If you have colleagues who can benefit from our content, please share it. And don't forget, John Morris is here to help you succeed with technology. Thanks for watching and bye for now.